We finally see each other for who we really are. Smells like a classic bloodbath. <laughs> Wait! I can't die today. I've got a fire mixtape dropping next week. It's true. Those beats are fresh as hell. So how about we all just lower our weapons on the count of three and walk away? One. Two. Gather round! Gather round! Thirty years ago, we became best friends at Online U for one single reason. To plot the biggest heist this town has ever seen! Yes. Yes. And we buried our score in that very spot! That day, we made a professional vow. Lawrence, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> we made a professional vow to reunite on this date, dig up our loot, and split everything evenly. Now, I know a lot has changed over the last eight episodes, but here we are, and nothing is gonna come between us. <laughs> Today, in great moments in human history, we shed light on the life and times of Thomas Edison, inventor of the electric light bulb. Born Thomas Cheddar Edison, Cheddison to his friends, Edison was already the most inventive man of his time. But one night, in the midst of hosting his famous famished orphan science potluck, a swift sea breeze takes out the lanterns. Children. Well, you... Edison hurriedly relights the scene, only to find those dirty street urchins have fled, and with his finest china no less, he vows to deliver windproof light across the world. I vow to kill the orphans. And also deliver light across the world. Edison experiments with a number of methods, but no substance in existence seems capable of containing electric light. And so he does the only logical thing. Edison builds a phone away from home phone to contact an alien race and steal their know-how. But what mysterious creatures will come calling? Edison meets Arthur. Which way is the jacuzzi? Edison can't help but marvel at the alien's advanced designs and his insatiable appetite for sickly street children. Arf claims that the bones of the children make him stronger. Edison suspects it may have more to do with Arf's growing opium addiction. Check, please. Edison shares his plans with the mayor. They soon shake on a new universal electric grid. Melt the candles. This is a tungsten town. The mayor also agrees to put Arf in charge of the Orphan Extermination League, giving Arf a lifetime supply of brittle whittle bones. Arf Seaton, good tonight! And so Edison and Arf lived out their days as best friends, titans of an industry, and lords of the universe! Tune in next time for another great moment in human history! Like I was saying, this woman that I'm seeing, she's smoking. <laughs> when she pretends orgasm with me, she makes the sound like you wouldn't believe. Ooh, gag, gag, bazooka, Joe, piska, pull. What did you just say? I was just saying that this woman I am currently courting likes to orgasm, I think, and she makes a sound like you wouldn't believe. Ooh, gag, gag, bazooka, Joe, piska, pull. That lady is my wife! <laughs> Until our amicable divorce goes through next week. It was a loveless marriage for some time, but we always remain friends. And it pleases me very much to hear that my best friend is now Porkina. Hey, Florence! Huh? Give me a hand, huh? I'll go on on top of your two God damn it! Everyone pulls their weight. 
Or do I need to remind you the hard way? Josh, wait! Relax, man. Lawrence devoted so much time to learning Japanese, he forgot English. Anata watara no tomodatsi o odoshi. Eh? Oh, sumasen. No, Lawrence. I'm sorry. Hey. Come on. Hey. So I said, if you want to eat orangutan meat, you gotta cook it first, Mr. President. <laughs> Basic zoology. Oh. What is that? Well, what is that? You're an undercover cop. You got a boob job. You always wanted to join the force. You always wanted huge knackers. <laughs> I'm so, so proud, proud of you. you. Oh my god, they're really firm. I could feel them on my own chest. I think I could go even firmer. Yeah, could I use them as a punchy bag? Got a level 5 kaiju inbound. You ready, kid? <laughs> Just try to keep up, old man. <laughs> Incoming. He's about to destroy the orphanage. Today, we're taking a stand. Today, we are ending the invasion. Today, we are canceling the apocalypse. Now let's go jerk this monster off! No. Well, Don't. I'm sorry, what, what are we doing? We're gonna go bring that monster to Climax. Why would we do that? Well, standard operating procedure, kid. These kaiju aren't violent. They're sexually frustrated, and that's where we come in. <laughs> kid, watch it. We gotta stay in sync here. I just thought the Jaegers were designed to fight. Fighting? No, 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 no. Jaeger is German for standing handjob robot. What about all the combat maneuvers we learned? The Usagi uppercut. Oh, that's to stimulate the perineum. The double claw combo. That's in case there are two dicks. The Jamaican jerk off. Oh, that one's a simple leg sweep. To get to the genitals faster. <laughs> Shit, they're onto us. Execute piston puncher. <laughs> Steady boys, clean strokes. We almost got him, kid. Speed it up. Oh, oh he's liking that. Or is he? <laughs> uh, friction levels are off the charts. Deploying the loop cannon. Uh, uh, Stimulation increasing. Two minutes to wait. Incoming. Uh, 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 level eight uncut kaiju. He's right on top of you. Uh, what do we do? Quick, jumping jack attack. Uh, Rush jumping. More jacking. Sperm donor tromboner. That's music to my ears. Uh, Shop cock and drop it. There's a save the world sale in aisle 42. That ain't your daddy. That's a milkman. They're coming in from both sides. Execute side to side pendulum glide. Massive reinforcements inbound. Dancing rave double dick waves. Go, go, go. Uh, oh, my carpet tunnel's flaring up, sir. Oh, redirect left arm power to oral cavity. Uh, prepare to dock. Uh, Wider! Wider, damn it! Ah. Great! Now cut those balls, soldier! Ah. You're doing it! Keep it up, you'll be home in time for dinner! Just... Oh, no! Three more incoming! Huh? Three more? We don't have anywhere to put them! Uh, shielder servos are burning out! Me braces are buckling! I, I don't know how much longer I can do this! Oh. 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 Vic Man! Doc, we lost Vic Man! Uh, oh, they're coming in from all sides. You gotta take control, kid! Uh, 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 there's too many of them! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Uh. Reese, baby, don't give up! Sarah, my love! I'm here watching. The kids are watching. The whole world's watching. We couldn't be more proud of you than we are right now. Doc, open up through your exhaust ports. The exhaust ports? But why? Do it! Just do it now, goddammit! Uh. Either I drive 
run an interdimensional spunk, or the whole world ends. Neither sound good for you. What was I gonna do anyways? Go home to some cushy desk job? <laughs> no. I prefer working with my hands. I'll always remember you just like this. Grandma, who's that? A hero, Sarah. A hero. The moment of truth. <sighs> Smells like early retirement. <laughs> and pizza. Hey, who's gonna pay for these pies? We'll all pay. We split the bill evenly. That's the vow. Hold on a minute. <sighs> Who ordered breadsticks? You know they make me all farty and bloaty. I never agreed to this deal and I refuse to pack. I agree. Breadsticks are wicked disgusting. But we're splitting everything. So be a man and split the bill. I'm not a man because I refuse to pay for that which I did not agree to. Honey, you're not a man for plenty more than that. Hold on. So you're saying someone's worth is tied directly to outdated gender norms and toxic depictions of masculinity? What she's saying is, this particular man is projecting an image he's not willing to back up. Self-actualization is a process. Exactly. So, we finally see each other for who we really are. So how about we all just lower our weapons, on the count of three, and walk away. One. Two. Good evening. Our first piece of the night is from the elusive artist known as Pranksy. The Hounds of Capitalism. Ah. Bitting will start at $1 million. One million dollars going once, going two million dollars, two million dollars, two point three million dollars, two point five, two point six, no, yes, going once, going twice, and sold to the woman in the lovely green dress. Oh, oh damn! What mad but cool genius is behind this destructive yet hilarious prank? Just a regular person. Not famous. Moving on. Our next piece comes to us from New York. Rodin's The Thinker in a Bucket Hat. Ooh. Bidding will start at $3.3 million. 3.3, oh, we have 4.8. Yes, thank you. We have a 5 million, five, yes, thank you. 5.3, yes, we have a 5.4. Yes, the gentleman there. 5.4 going once, going twice, and Soul to the man with the exquisite hat. Yeah. Oh! Oh, God. it's spewing oh. actual human feces. Good God. The thinker? More like the stinker. <laughs> oh, oh so terrible. <laughs> Who can make such a brilliant statement on class inequality? Moving on. If there are no other interruptions, we shall... So we have a call from Frank C. himself. Please pass him through. Hello? Yes. Am I on? This is Frank C. Yes, you are on. Thank you for calling in, sir. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I couldn't be there, but, uh, you know, luckily you got that hot dude in the orange pants. I had a rap battle I couldn't miss. Drop those hot, stanky beats. Ain't no baby bitch punk ass. And a larger than average penis. Bye, mother. All right, moving on. Uh, pièce de résistance, the Mona Pizza oh. bidding will start at 10 million. Oh. Oh. Oh, what wacky and hilarious artist could make such a subversive piece? Must be a smart, handsome man to hit with the ladies. Sure sounds like Pranksy to me. We know that you're Pranksy. Nope, 
You're holding the remote that shredded the painting. Oh, this is a lie detector. You're a liar. You have a pranksy tramp stamp tattoo. Oh, uh, no, I don't. I heard you whispering your name to yourself in the bathroom stall. You literally introduced yourself to me as Pranksy. Hi, I'm Pranksy. You're Pranksy? You know it, dog. Woo! Fine. You caught me. Maybe I did stick my penis through a picture of the Mona Lisa. If pushing boundaries, defying expectations, being a visionary makes me Pranksy, I guess I am Pranksy. You're Pranksy? You're under arrest for the defamation and destruction of valuable art. Is this the end of Pranksy? I mean, me, who is definitely not Pranksy? <laughs> I'm not Pranksy! Oh, my pants are too big! He's right there. Oh, I tore my pants! Please, he's not even fat. Faster than you are! Elise, no. <laughs> Tough Titty said the kitty because the milk was bad. Oh, I can't believe the online nine were taken down by a bunch of crummy breadsticks. Wait a minute. The online nine? But there were only eight of us. It can't be. Delicious. When I first found out you were a sentient haunted doll, I wasn't sure we could make it work. Now, I know we were meant to be. This doll's ecto levels are off the charts. She's extremely hot. Tell me about it. Let's send the satanic ceramic back to hell. Grossman, record this. You got it. Recording. Yo, this is what's going on. Put this on the ground. It's a level 12 haunting. Oh my god, here's a class 12 cocky. These are not loaded. We're just trying to bust a ghost. You ain't busting nothing. You don't have the jurisdiction. Jurisdiction's my middle name! And I just got monogram towels! Someone get the mayor on the hook! Do you know CPR? Uh, no. Oh! <laughs> Hit me with some insulin, because I found a sweetie. <laughs> Oh, this is Bobby's kind of party. <laughs> buck, buck. Uh. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, go play that cut camera. Tie five, everyone. See you next. More poop in the corner. I'll be in my trailer. Okay, pasta, Jay Schwasha. What's the matter? I can't do this, okay? You know, I thought this might be better than pedophiles or incest or getting plowed by giant CG horse cocks, but I mean, now this is the absolute bottom. This whole thing is just one big rehash. Well, we prefer the term soft money grab reboot. Mm -hmm. Except we need your heart for the climax. It's the George Clooney strategy, okay? One for you, one for them. Which one has been for me? <sighs> well... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We raised the Titanic to sink it again. Twist ending. <gasps> Bet you didn't see this coming. True that. Why, Blake? Why? Why? You cut me in half to save a pair of pants! And then you left me in a rot in some hospital trash can! Yeah, well, we burn Chris alive. You don't see him being a little bitch about it. Smells like a truth bomb. Shut up! Now I'm taking these breadsticks and our treasure, and I'm keeping them all for myself. And there's nothing you can do about it. Hey, does anyone else have an extra bullet left in their gun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot. A bunch of them. Yeah, a whole clip. Hey.
soon this story will finally have closure. <laughs>